What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So I'm really, really excited that I could finally do a review on this particular sneaker. And as you can see, uh, here we have the Air Jordan 1 uh, highs in the pollen colorway. Now I've been waiting for this pair for months and it's kind of strange because we had a pretty late release date uh, in my home country. These actually released today on uh, Nike.com in my country and it was through a raffle. Obviously I did not hit on my account but one of my friends hit and you know the, my friend was generous enough to uh, let the pair go for retail. Uh, so I mean, I'm really excited to finally see this pair in hand, and I am quite surprised by the the build of of the shoe itself. Um, you know, <clears throat> the, the the kind of the hype around the shoe is pretty much non-existent where I live. Uh, a lot of people are giving shit uh, for how the shoe looks, but I don't really mind that. Um, I you know waited months and months for this pair, and I'm so glad that I could you know um, you know have a pair in my size uh, for retail. So without further ado, let's just dive right into this shoe. So obviously, as the the name of the colorway suggests, the basic uh, look of the shoe is you know this predominantly yellow color, and here on the side we can see that pollen colored uh, Nike swoosh. Uh, with the in, in that leather material and the side panel is this kind of like tumbled looking uh, black leather and what I've noticed is that the the leather quality on this is you know very noticeable um, when I first pulled these out of the box I felt like I was pulling out you know the uh, you know the 85 highs uh, in the Varsity Red colorway. That's a more premium model compared to these because they have a, uh, a higher price point, a retail price point. But I was, you know, this thing felt pretty hefty when I was pulling that out. And as you can see from the side, you know how thickly cut that leather is. So I wouldn't say like the leather is like, you know, any top notch anything, but it definitely is thicker. Um, more substantial compared to the, uh, the the leather that we've seen on you know recent Air Jordan One releases. I mean, I mean there were some pairs that have great leather quality. It's just that I haven't seen you know a Jordan One with such great leather quality uh, for like a GR Jordan One uh, as of late. So, anyways, that you can find more of that leather piece here on the side. As you can see, it's very thickly cut. Uh, you know, the QC is quite on point, and then that uh, pollen colored leather uh, extends all the way to the toe cap area here. Uh, no glue marks or anything like that, it's quite nice. And the toe box is once again that black uh, tumble leather, and this leather does not feel plasticky or anything like that. It is just, you know, I mean, obviously the tumbled leather is just like an effect printed onto the shoe, but still, it does have a pretty smooth feel. And speaking of smooth, I wouldn't say uh, the the feel of the leather is smooth or plush uh, in any way. However, I still think that the leather is quite nice compared to say some other like recent releases of this year. But because I mean, it does feel very thick and substantial. I keep using the word substantial because that's really true about it. When you pull these out of the box you know you can just f kind of feel the weight of the shoe and it's very different from what I've you know seen uh, lately now here on the, uh, the center of the shoe you see that black nylon tongue that we typically see on any Air Jordan 1 model and it seems like the tongue has become more uh, puffy uh, I mean, I noticed that the tongue has changed since maybe like the Electro Orange uh, pair that we saw. It seems like, you know, Jordan Brand is switching their factories around or something like that. I mean, they're, they're, I, I've noticed that they're putting more attention to the actual build of the, of the shoe. And, you know, this tongue itself is very well padded, as you can see. This thing is thick. You see how thick that is, and it's very straight and puffy. You know, it all. I, I think I mentioned this in my Electro Orange review, and you know, the tongue really reminds me of a fake pair because you know, those fake pairs are known to have these like really straight ass uh, tongues. But this is not a, a, a fake pair. This is actually came from Jordan.com or Nike.com in my home country, and I can just tell you that this tongue looks very, very different from uh, what we what we're used to seeing. 
And interestingly, this pair comes uh, with a, a yellow lace, partially factory laced onto the shoe. And I know some people have been, you know, complaining about the shade of yellow a bit, being a little bit different compared to the uh, the leather here. But I, I mean, I don't really mind that. You know, it, it, you can't get it, you know, perfectly. So it, as long as it's just uh, a similar tone, I think that's just fine. And moving towards the top, I think this is probably one of my uh, favorite details of the shoe is that they switched things up with the uh, the Nike Air tab here. And as you can see, there's a yellow or pollen colored nylon tongue tab stitched onto the tongue. And then the Nike Air text is done in white while the uh, Nike swoosh is embroidered in black. And that really, that's I think that's a really, really cool touch. It almost gives off like a come up, kind of like a, a bumblebee vibe. It does add to some of that like retro feel to it for some reason. And I, th I really appreciate that Jordan brand, you know, kind of switched things up, um, you know, for the same retail price point. Now, on the inside, you've got that uh, nice black mesh tongue uh, for the sock, I mean, the nice mesh sock liners, excuse me. And then here, as you can see, this pair does come with two extra sets of laces, uh, one being black and the other one being white. I honestly don't feel putting the white uh, laces on, but I definitely will try throwing the uh, the black ones on. Uh, I'm not really sure which one would look better because I'm pretty much fine with the uh, the pollen laces that are already pre-laced onto the shoe, but I think the black laces would go quite well with the shoe as, uh, you know, and then here on the insole, you got that typical black uh, Jordan insole with the Nike Air branding printed in that pollen yellow color. And then you see rest of that, the pollen laces here uh, inside the shoe. And then on the, uh, the back side of the shoe, see the Air Jordan uh, crisp black Air Jordan Wings logo um, debossed into that uh, ankle or collar area and this thing i mean i don't know man this again the leather itself is not like smooth or anything but it does not feel plasticky or cheap at all it's it's stiff in a good way i think it it just feels uh nice it feels very substantial and, and is different and anyways um here on the heel counter area you see more of that uh pollen leather as well and then on the collar part you got this uh nice very very well cushioned uh, this plush piece of black leather used for the collar of the shoe. Now the medial side is basically the same deal, nothing too special. And then the midsole is that typical white, crisp white uh, midsole that we typically see on Air Jordan ones. And then the outsole is that beautiful, beautiful pollen yellow, you know, uh, outsole with the circular traction pad uh, in the front. And then the, on the midfoot area, you got the Nike branding here as well. So the other side of the shoe is basically the same deal. And once again, you really have to hold these in hand to, you know, feel how hefty this thing is. I mean, I would, I would, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Jordan Brand told me that this is like a pretty limited edition. I, I think the stock numbers are pretty high because, you know, uh, this time around, a lot of people passed on, uh, on entering the raffles and, Man, we had redraws after redraws after redraws after redraws the entire day today, like from like 10 a.m. I think the last redraw ended at around like uh, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. like that. So, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on these days, but I think this is a very, very nice looking, uh, you know, fire colorway on a Jordan 1, but it seems like the, the hype around a lot of GR Jordan 1s is kind of dying down. And if, at least where I live, and you know there are multiple pairs you know going around so what i'm trying to say is that this is not by any means like a premium model or a limited uh model but i just i'm just surprised as to how jordan brand went the extra mile to you know kind of up the game in terms of you know building the shoe uh speaking of which i'm just going to briefly show you the the box i'm pretty sure you've seen the box plenty of times on different channels but you know i just want to give my take on it as well as you can see it's your typical air jordan one you know the black box but the nike branding is all done in that um uh, pollen yellow color and uh, you know this is like a, a just a uh you know it's just a, it's just a magic combination you know black you know uh 
you know, yellow against black. It's, it's just it's just crazy. It goes so hard. And this is one of the, of the reasons why I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a premium model or a more limited edition Jordan 1 because, you know, Jordan brand actually switched up something with the box, you know, and, and the materials and whatnot. So I, it's just it's just crazy. I'm so, so glad to have this pair uh, in my collection. I'm definitely going to rock these uh, and these are going to look so, so nice uh, for the fall time. And I don't know, my basic idea right now is say just go with something simple in terms of wearability. I would say, you know, some black jeans or black jogger pants would go well. But I think it would be a nice idea to match the color of your, you know, your outfit with the shoes itself. For instance, I'm thinking about maybe wearing like a, a, a yellow and black checkered shirt, a flannel shirt. Um, and another idea would be to throw on like a pretty toned down yellow colored hoodie or something like that for the fall, for the fall time. So it, it shouldn't be a, a difficult pair to pull off. I mean, some people are complaining that this is a very difficult color to, um, you know, fit into your outfit, which I mean, it is, it is true. It is yellow, but still, I mean, there's definitely an, uh, a solution to it. Uh, sizing wise, this is just an Air Jordan 1, so going true to size should be, you know, just A-OK -okay, unless you have super wide feet, then you might want to consider going half a size up, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's just your typical Air Jordan 1. Now, resale wise, I did check on StockX, and to be honest, I don't think there's that much resale value uh, on these, which I think is a very good thing because, I mean, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but the material use on this pair you know the entire build the packaging i think it's just perfect if you are you know new to collecting jordan ones i think this is a pair that you might want to add to your collection when the resale price is cheap because these might go up uh in price later on down the road i'm not suggesting you guys to hold on these uh and then just try to make profit off of it or anything like that what i'm trying to say is that get them when they're cheap so that you won't regret it that's that's just my point that's why i'm trying to you know uh, uh have this pair and maybe cop another one if possible so that i could have you know rock one and stock one uh you know uh and i think that would be a great idea honestly uh for for my uh you know home country i think a lot of pairs are gonna hit the outlets i know this sounds pretty crazy but i can just feel it uh, we already have the electro oranges hitting the outlets. It's just crazy, like, you know, 20% off. And then on top of that, you get an extra 15% off. So, yeah, and these are doing worse than the electro oranges at the moment. So I think these are definitely going to hit the outlets uh, pretty soon. And so it's pretty sad to see that uh, because they feel pretty like, you know, these this pair looks pretty like underappreciated. But, you know, for those of you who are just looking for shoes for the toes it's a it's a golden opportunity to go to go for uh, uh such a uh, uh low value jordan one but anyways that's basically it for today and uh, you can probably sense the excitement that, you know, in my voice i'm just so glad to finally have this pair uh in my collection but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys wa enjoyed watching this video please hit that subscribe button i think we're gonna be able to hit that 800 mark really really soon and we actually have the um, Air Jordan 4 Tour Yellows, aka the Lightnings, uh, releasing tomorrow morning. So please wish me luck. I'm really going to try to hit on those. I've, I've already taken a lot of L's on in-store raffles, but let's see what happens on Nike.com. But anyways, stay tuned for more, and I'll be back really soon. Thanks for watching.